So I had a pleasant night in Coverack, 6 o'clock in the morning, left the girls in bed, French and I are up and heading for the Sillies. Okay, next stop, the Lizard. Fingers crossed the tide might be with us by the time we get there. A700, the Lizard, southernmost point of the UK mainland. We're in 10 knots, the tide's with us right now. We're heading over to Sillies, which is about 50 miles away, but there's a bit of, bit of breeze, 45 knots coming in for um, Sunday, so once again, our trip to the city has been scuppered by the weather. I think our plan might be just to uh, get there, say we've been, and then hurtle back Saturday morning maybe. We'll see what we get when we get there. All right, there's lots of pots up here, so eyes open. We've got Wolf Rock right just there. Got about 15 miles to go. Got a bit of French French racing on this morning. Seen a few other tries. This looks like a multi 50. Saw a little video of this the other day. Looking very fast. Terry gives us a little wave. So he's got his J0 there, he's doing five, five knots. So he's against the tide as well. So he's probably doing about six knots through the water, six, six and a half. This is quite a busy little corner here. You've got all the traffic going up to Liverpool and to the north of the UK on the western side over to Ireland. clouds up there, sign of things to come maybe. About eight miles to our destination. How's your breakfast, Evie? My breakfast. Oh, it's just a lemon snack, is it? Yeah. Yeah, she's not coming back. Try to come out wind. Evie and Tracy off to the Great White Sandbar. and Cough, Turks Head Pub over here. The ferry boat boys are just warming up for the day's activities. 50 knots breeze forecast Sunday morning, so I'm not convinced we're going to be staying here for that. A little causeway between the two islands, just covers at high tide. Take a little stroll around the island, very pretty. It's raining off some bare necessity. Turned up yesterday, us around the islands. They're obviously going to brave it out, the big breeze. Not sure it's for us though. Morning! St Agnes, very pretty. Found the local gin, so uh, Mrs Bacon's got a bottle of that. And we're going to scamper away now, there's not many boats around. When you're some bare necessities, just picking it out. Wait, right, baby. <laughs> bare necessities between us and here. Hi mum. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh. Cool. Cool. southernmost point of the UK. Here we are again. A little bit choppy and churny here. Pretty confused sea state really. Well, how's it down here girl? You got enough power to keep your devices going? Yeah, All oh, right, okay. Well I think we've we've done the fast bit unfortunately. Yeah. Halford beckons. He's having a little bit of a squirt with a screecher. Did 13 knots a moment ago and we're hoping we might get tied up for what time Richard? 6.45 Okay, we're expecting gin and tonics to be delivered to the boat at 6.45. Time currently is 6.04. A few drops of rain a moment ago. Right, here comes another little gust, Evie. Oh, yeah. Got the paddleboard storage unit on the back there. That's got 12 meter dazzle. GBR 666, evidently the number of the beast. Heading out from the Halford. Just scampering across Falmouth Bay to Pendennis where uh, Mike and his team are going to take care of us for the 50 knots. Morning girls, looking forward to getting some retail therapy. Belladonna just there. No, Easy Tiger, sorry. So there's a bit of a uh, squall coming down. Belladonna's headed off to Mervagizzi, which does look very sheltered, but it's quite a small little spot. You got the Dasket Dolphins, have we? Yeah. 
You've uh, found the Dasket Dolphins for Sarah's birthday, Richard, have you? Yeah, she's just going to work out how to take them home. What, to cook them? <laughs> yeah, all the way through. Would you want to zip the bag up then, Abs, and see if you can pass Evie the zip? That looks like another boat with a spinnaker wrapped up, doesn't it? There was a uh, multi 50. Fisherman's trip of sailing from Newlyn, I think, down to Australia. Burr Island recently changed hands, I believe. There's a bar that runs across where that yacht is. Uh, there's a tractor, an amphibious tractor. They run people across the causeway out to the hotel. And here's the entrance. You can see the breaking swell in there. And then Bantam Beach. Look at these guys. Oh, I've never seen them sort of like that before. Uh, there, there are definitely a few waves breaking right down the corner when you've got to make that turn like we, there were before. Okay. So, um, Richard, you're in control. Look. Just over there. See them? Just look at the dolphins over there feeding. Can you see them? It's basically the beach like comes all the way out here, so that's why the waves are breaking. And it's like a tiny channel of water. Um, yeah, because the beach goes like all the way, like it's all there. The yeah. beach is all there, isn't it, as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like waves over there, rocks over there. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, we anchored up there last time, like around the corner. So I'm guessing that's what we're doing again. I didn't like this. <laughs> We'll probably go to up there somewhere. Arrival, girls just taking off on the last of the incoming tide. Beautiful haven. So we came in, I think we had 0.2 of a 200 mil underneath us when we came in, so it's not blessed with a lot of water in here, but well worth the effort. It's a bit surfy on the way in. Lawrence and Emma have got their cat, which normally lives on this mooring, built up in the up in the farm up at the top of that little valley there. And they moved it slowly down as it got bigger and bigger until it was in this bottom field and eventually uh, launched it down through the hedge there or fence, I guess. How was your trip up the Avon and Navy? Good. Yeah, what was the best bit? I don't know. What was your best bit? You managed to get across the line first, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I've won. Yeah. Hey, Sarah! It's always a race, Sarah. <laughs> Not a great start. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 